back when we were running from the slave master. He was hot on our heels. We pray and cry out to our father. But it just wasn't time. Seems like a lot of y'all don't have no relationship with the father. You have a relationship with your leaders. Your camp leaders. Your pastors. Your bishops. That's who your relationship is with yourself. Prettying up that old flesh of yours. The scripture said, put ye on your Husha Hamashiach, but you ain't putting him on, you're putting on yourself. You ain't got no shame. Just doing all kinds of wickedness. At the same time, calling on the Father. He got your number. He sees you. Shame on a lot of you. Shame on you descendants of slaves who piss on our suffering. With the way you behave yourselves. You have no respect for what we had to go through. Well, sure, you're, you're going through things right now. We won't deny that. But a lot of the things you're going through, you bring it on yourself. You don't know how to keep your mouth shut. You're in the land of your captivity. Well, didn't you know that? You know what? Let me ask y'all something. Let me ask y'all something. How many, how many of y'all out here, this is, I got a good question for y'all today. How many of y'all out here believe that it's right for black men to rape black women? Is that wrong? Is that wrong? Let me tell you something. They got a, they got an Israelite group out here called GMS. And they believe that it's okay to rape women. These two Negroes that just came up here, that's from GMS, they are in an Israelite group that says it's okay to rape women. Such shameful existences. You call yourselves the awakened children of Israel. What you all fail to realize is that thousands of years ago, our ancestors, they knew who they were too. They knew they were the Israelites. But yet and still, they were asleep. And they were even referred to as generation of vipers. Because the wickedness never stopped. That's why the scripture talked about Judah being worse. Worse than Israel. I must admit, sometimes Judah can be the best, but yet the worst. You got a choice to make, Judah. You have a choice to make. Choose ye this day. Will you be the best or will you be the worst? You call yourself trying to awaken the lost sheep of Israel. All you're displaying is pure darkness. What we see going out is shameful. You're a disgrace to the name of our Father. You have brought shame yet again upon His name with the way you behave. Acting like straight up devils. And yet you claim to fear Yah. You don't fear Yah. You open up your mouth with lies. Hypocrisy. False witness. Backbiting. Tail bearing. The most high seas. You may have people. Who have fallen into your trap and your snare. But you keep forgetting one thing. They don't have a heaven or hell to put you in. The Most High sees your de devilish, deceptive heart. And he says a false witness will not go unpunished. You may have been able to talk your wickedness into the ears of those who would hear you. Calling up this one and calling up that one. Dropping in your poison, venom, and your lies. Pulling people under with you with your devilish tongue. 
But just remember, the judgment of Yah stands sure. His word has gone forth out of his mouth and it shall not return void. Every wicked trap that you have set, you set it for yourself. Every word that you have uttered in lies, deception and manipulation is going to revisit you. That's the word. It says a false witness shall not go unpunished. So get ready. We see a lot of that going on among the Israelites, the so-called Hebrew Israelites, as you call yourself. You see, we never called ourselves Hebrew Israelites. That's just the most stuff you done picked up along the way and you think you got something golden. See, you're always picking up masses, crumbs off the floor. Because you don't want what's really yours. You don't want what really belongs to you. You want what the slave master had. 